Hey Gemini, how are you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general tarot reading for the end of the year, December, last month of 2023. And this is for love, romance, and partnership. Gemini, do me a favor. If you enjoy readings like this, be sure to let me know. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. This is for my Gemini crew out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So you could be a Gemini or your person, whoever you're thinking about and dealing with could be a Gemini, okay? If you want a personal love reading, you know how to reach me. You can go to my website or even my Etsy shop and book a reading there, whether it be video recorded reading or a Etsy message reading. I also have a line of tarot products, such as my card decks. Today, I'm going to do these soulmates in separation. I've done these for the other signs, so... We're going to see what your partner is thinking right now. What are they feeling? What are they not saying? What do they have a hard time kind of communicating right now? Okay. So Gemini, let's see what's coming on. Gemini's out there, please. First up, I'm scared you will not accept me now. So someone is afraid that you may look at them differently. I feel like this is someone that may have made a bad decision, a bad judgment call. Maybe they treated you poorly. And now they're like, well, you probably won't even look at me. You probably don't even want to deal with me or accept me as a person anymore in your life, right? You probably don't even want to be near me. So someone is afraid. Gemini, another card we have for your person is deliver me from temptation. So I almost feel like for some of you guys, your person was distracted. There was something they were involved with or with. A person a thing an object there's something that wasn't good for them right it was toxic in some way and so now they're saying deliver me from this thing okay i was tempted i knew i didn't know what i was doing and then it says i am lost in this world without you it gets lonely it feels like your person really messed up okay a lot of you guys you're dealing with someone maybe from the past or someone that you recently disconnected from maybe you were dating on and off and they're literally saying, like, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I don't know how I'm going to move on without you. I'm afraid. I'm scared. And I'm alone. Right? This is someone that feels alone. So I feel like this is someone that obviously misses you a great deal, Gemini. Maybe they haven't been able to actually say it. All right, let's take a look. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for December 2023. Okay, in the past, we have the moon, the death, and the ten of pentacles. This is definitely someone that you may have saw a long-term future with. The ten of pentacles gives me the idea that you are planning a marriage, engagement. Maybe you live with this person. It even feels like there's something like you've been together for like 10 months, 10 years, or something here, okay? Where it feels like something was actually pretty solid or getting more solid. And there was like an opportunity for something to grow long-term, Okay. Now, with the moon and the death card, this could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Jenna, it feels like someone really turned you out. Like, you know, there's something that may have happened that you didn't see coming. And it really changed and transformed this connection. It even feels like with the moon, this is something that your person may have done behind closed doors. Maybe they did without you being aware of it. Maybe they hid something from you, right? The moon can be very hidden and very secretive. Um, it could be because of their own fears and insecurities. Whatever it is, it feels like something came out. Something was revealed to you, the moon. Something that literally probably you didn't, you weren't supposed to find out. And you found out about it. And it caused a lot of change, uncomfortable change to this connection, okay? But this is all part of a transformation that your partnership had to go through, okay? That's what I'm seeing, Gemini. Now, the current energy Four of Swords, you definitely could be on a break from this person. Gemini, some of you guys, you cut this person out with the King of Swords in a verse. We have the King of Wands in a verse. So this could be a Fire Sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. King of Swords in a verse could be definitely combative. It could be someone who's like, I don't care. Leave me alone. Don't talk to me. It could definitely be a fight or an argument or disagreement, okay? But it also could just be silencing, right? The energy of neither one of you are communicating or talking and you just don't know what to say to each other. So you're not saying much at all, okay? That King of Swords in the verse is telling me, you know, Gemini, maybe it happened very abruptly. I feel like you and this person are like have your backs turned toward each other, literally how this looks like, right? Um, and it's almost like you guys are very stubborn. Like you're not acknowledging 
the other person right now. And I feel like your person, Gemini, is definitely with the King of Wands in reverse, may have done something shady. I'm even feeling the energy of like done something and then it wasn't until after that they were thinking about it. Like they actually thought about what they did, right? King of Wands can be very impulsive and very much like likes to be in control, likes to do things their way. You're dealing with someone that you may have certainly have had personality conflicts with and you just don't like the way they behave or move maybe some of their values conflict with yours okay especially when it comes to like deep thinking right so the energy is telling me that you and this person four swords there's some stress there's some anxiety there's some worries and frustration and you both are kind of looking for peace you both kind of like maybe not talking to each other or not taking action toward each other because you just want peace you don't want things to escalate. So your person's energy. Chariot in reverse, we have the star. We have the eight of wands, four of pentacles in reverse, and the knight of wands. Okay. So your person definitely is bothered by the fact that nothing is moving. There's no victory, right? They haven't had any type of movement or, or change with you. There's no action being taken. I feel the chariot in reverse is telling me they had a goal with regard to you, Gemini, but they haven't reached it. And so I feel like there's an the energy of like healing taking place between the both of you. The star talks about healing, recovery, wishes, hopes, right? Um, and it feels like your person wants to heal. And I think, again, that is why your person may not be taking much action is because they want to heal. They don't want something to get worse than it already is, okay? I also think the biggest thing with the chair in reverse is kind of like they know they failed you. They know they did something wrong and it may have led to some kind of ending, or a situation where things are just not feeling very victorious. Now, the good thing is that things are going to speed up. Things are going to start moving. Eight of Wands can be communication coming quickly in. can be your person showing up at your door, initiating some kind of change. There's definitely a change in direction, right? And it can be literally, again, communication coming in um, unexpectedly. And it's very quick. It's very fast. It's very sudden. Now, how the person, um, whoever this is, how they see moving forward with you. They plan to let go of some kind of anxiety, some kind of stubbornness. This could be said, uh, letting go of being guarded, no longer holding on to the past and letting it affect the current situation. There's movement. Again, Knight of Wands is also movement. So again, this could be that same person with the King of Wands coming in and they're very excited. They're very driven. They're very ambitious. This is someone who's like, you know what? I got my eye on the prize and this is what I want. So you could be experiencing that with this person coming in over the next couple of weeks. We're going to be getting some kind of like surprise change in direction, new beginning, new opportunity, um, or it literally could just be something starting back up. It doesn't feel like new. It feels like an old energy, but someone kind of initiating new change. Okay. Coming in, we have the devil in a verse, and I like it because if there was anything toxic or something that kind of got in the way of you coming together with this person, it feels like there's something where it's like, I'm letting it go, okay? I'm letting it go. I'm cutting a cord, snip, snip. It could be from something that, you know, they were tied to, something toxic in nature, something that wasn't serving the highest and greatest good. It may have also led to some kind of imbalance with regard to their equal give and take regarding you, okay? Time, energy, effort. You may have felt like Gemini, they weren't really focused, they weren't making you the priority, and there could be some kind of change in direction regarding that, okay? Three of Wands is also movement change coming in. It's communication coming in. It could be finally your ships are coming in, right, regarding communication. So we're going to see, we're going to get some more clarity, Gemini. Um, three of Wands can be literally like after a long time, like three months, you know, three weeks, your person finally is like ready to say something and take some kind of action forward. All right, let's take a look. Again, your messages from your person, deliver me from temptation, and that feels like the devil. Deliver me from anything that isn't serving my highest and greatest good, isn't serving me at all, right? Um, isn't healthy for me, is toxic for me. We also have I am lost in this world without you. It gets lonely, so this person doesn't want to be alone without you. They want to be with you, not, not apart. And we have I'm afraid you will not accept me now. After all that I've done, you probably won't even look at me again, Gemini. Right? That's kind of what your person feels. All right, in the past, we have the moon, the death. There's that queen of swords in the verse. So again, communication issues, 
someone not communicating, someone lying, being dishonest. We have the three pentacles in the verse. It feels like you and this person collided when it came to your values, your beliefs. You may have felt like you and this person didn't line up on important values, okay? And it feels like, you know, if you're talking about long term with this person, how could you? have or make long-term plans with someone who doesn't share the same values and morals right so something may have happened or came out with the moon in the verse that made you feel gemini we're just not aligned we're not on the same page we obviously don't want the same thing again this is someone that you've invested a lot of time with okay um give me the current energy we have the king of swords king of wands in the verse we have the four of swords some stress here her font in the verse taurus energy with the king of wands and the knight of swords so someone's definitely going to communicate we have communication cards coming in. We have a lot of movement change progress coming in. Um, the Hierophant in the verse is suggesting that, you know, after maybe some kind of broken commitment or, you know, um, you know, ending after a commitment or something like that, it feels like there's movement coming in because someone's inspired to change it, change direction which things are going. This also could be communication regarding someone's an inability to commit okay so for some of you guys maybe they got out of a marriage maybe they were in a marriage and they couldn't commit to you at the time there's communication coming in regarding that it is something that brings some stress so for some of you guys it could be like a really hot topic okay especially when it comes to marriage and it was something that was hidden from you maybe you know you didn't know this person was married okay there is something that is very uncomfortable here but they're coming in and there's a lot of truth coming in okay give me the cherry and the star got Aquarius we got cancer energy the moon in reverse the four cups and the page of cups so this is like what I'm seeing someone is literally whoever this person is Gemini they're coming in and there's a secret coming out someone is like I'm sorry for keeping this secret I'm sorry for not telling you the truth after some kind of leak or something that's being revealed to you someone is like I'm sorry I care I didn't mean to hurt you the page of cups is literally like very it's very sweet it's very empathetic okay um four cups is also a missed opportunity or sadness okay grief loss so someone is feeling alone they feel deprived they feel like there's something they've lost and now they're saying i'm sorry it was my fault because of this moon because of the secret my insecurities things that i didn't want to talk about things that i hid okay so the page of cups is definitely it could be an offer it could be saying I'm, i care for you i love you a morning text but it also could be an apology give me the eight of wands some of us that come back in your life, the world is some kind of huge cycle. Eight of Cups in the verse is a returning of a past lover. Someone is like, I don't want to be alone. I left you, Gemini, thinking I'd be happier, but I'm not. So here it is. I'm coming back. Eight of Cups in the verse is a return. So whether this person left you or you left them, there's a return. Someone wants to return to your life, okay? And the world feels very karmic, but also feels like there's a lot of lessons that you both had to learn. There's something a person's letting go, compromising on, Knight of Wands are coming in. Very, very quick, 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 ferocious. Seven of Pentacles, of death. Yeah, someone is coming in and they're saying, I'm willing to bring that change that you've been wanting. I'm willing to bring change to how I show up, to how I behave, to how I act. Someone knows that change is needed and things aren't going to move forward unless they change. So literally the death in the Knight of Wands is like, here I am, but I'm not just that old person. I'm a new person. I've reinvented myself, right? I've done the work in the world. Seven of Pentacles is telling me your person's coming in and they're thinking about their future. They're wanting to plant their seeds or rather the seeds that they planted with you. They're wanting to now nurture them. They're wanting to make sure it roots. They want to grow. So this is someone here who's thinking about their future. What does this seven months or seven years look like moving forward? They're thinking about long term. They're thinking about what they could have and what they have right now and what they can do with it. Okay, so someone is definitely coming in and the death is like, here I am. I've changed. I've transformed. I'm completely different. And they're very excited to show you that, Gemini, because the Knight of Wands are coming out twice. Very quick, but also very ambitious, very much um, persuasive, okay? Very um, excited, okay? So Three of Wands is here in the outcome. Temperance. All about a matter of time. King of Swords, someone's coming in with the truth, the tower in the verse. It feels like after the dust settles from a tower moment, from some kind of huge ending, a disaster, something literally comes in, Gemini. This could be with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius or even a Capricorn. Someone comes in with the truth and it literally is happening after a huge breakdown. A breakdown can literally bring in a breakthrough for this person to finally be honest and truthful with you. And the temperance is like, maybe it's something you've been waiting for, Gemini. It's like, 
where have you been all my life? Like, what's been going on? You know? So the temperance is timing, moderation. Someone doesn't want to overdo it. I feel like the part of the reason why this person hasn't come in is because things got so bad, right? Their own fears, insecurities, what ifs, right? Maybe that you won't accept me right now. I'm scared. I'm so scared. You probably won't even look at me the same. And they've been waiting, waiting for a time to pass because time heals, right? Because maybe time, maybe you'll forget all the details of everything they've done. Maybe with time, you'll heal, you'll recover, you'll be more open to allowing them to come in your life. So that is what I'm seeing, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll check you guys out soon. Again, if you want to request a book or reading with me, all the details are in the description box below. All right, take care.